And a lot of people feel like, unfortunately, if you get something, it's better than nothing. Because the Republican Party is just not, they're, they're going to teach you or they're going to allow you to, you know, get to it, but they're not going to give it to you. So a lot of people want handouts. That's just what it is. But in my personal opinion, I, I don't know how, um, just looking at the history, black people would have got this way because a lot of the times they didn't, they didn't look for handouts. So that's, yeah. So to answer your question, uh, that's kind of how I see it. I don't know if anybody else had anything else they wanted to add into that. No, I don't. I don't. Cause I do got one more quick question that I do want to ask y'all. I do got one more question that I want to ask y'all really quickly. Um, do you guys think that uh, the divine nine, right, the sororities and the fraternities, the black sororities and, and the black fraternities, do you guys think that they are now under more scrutiny as a result of Kamala Harris? Um, being nominated for president of the United States of America. Cause no. I've never, I've never seen this level of scrutiny on these organizations as I do right now. No, they're not going to put them under the real suit. Like, I see a lot uh, of people actually, <laughs> I see a lot of people actually walking away. I see more people on the internet saying why they're denouncing or why they are walking away from the organization that they pledged to. That's good. Good. What and a lot of it is for religious reasons. A lot of it is because they didn't expect the way that things are going right now. I'm seeing more and more. People are sending me a lot of videos about people walking away from these Greek organizations. Good, what are they for? Like, wh what is it for? Like, what does it do? What are the Greek organizations for? Resources, connections, brotherhood, sisterhood type shit. But why do you... Why do you, why do you need? Okay. So if all of these, so if all of these, yeah, um, black sorbo, like, but if all of these like black sorbo connections work, then why don't, why isn't it a setup in a tier? Like how, um, a lot of the schools like Harvard and Yale, you know, they have, they have connections and things like that. I, I never see. I never see people who go to HBCUs really have those connections where they they can go work at somebody's law firm as soon as they're out of school. They can go work here and there. I never really see it. I think that what I've seen some women start to say in particular is that they're saying that they don't like those organizations or it's been a lot of pushback because a lot of them are saying that the same thing that we complain about as far as opportunities and things like that, that's the thing that they then stand for, which is what we reject. So I'll give you an example. A lot of, a lot of, I, I reviewed a video where a woman basically said she don't rock with them a lot of times also, and that they create an environment where they prevent other people from getting opportunities because they, they more or less only give other people opportunities if they're in that position because they are a part of that fraternity or that sorority instead of whether or not the person is actually qualified for the position that they block out a lot of stuff and as she was saying they block out stuff when it comes to church they block out stuff when it mm -hmm. comes to opportunities in corporate america they block out stuff when it comes to voting and that's also being reflected in what what's happening with kamala harris because they're not saying that she necessarily qualified they saying that she's just a part of the aka sorority and so that's one of the reasons why they're giving her pushback and it's actually painting a black eye on the organization itself Yeah, man, all that it's supposed to be for networking it's supposed to be for like charity and all this other stuff um but it seems it seems as though it's being it's like a co-op <laughs> like no, no, it's a, no i said it's a cover-up cover yeah i just i i i'm i'm asking because like i they raised all that money right and I'm like, okay, if y'all can raise all that money and get all these people on these calls, why can't you do that for the community itself? I'm from a place called Georgia Avenue in Washington, D.C. Howard University sits a few blocks away from me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can assure you around the backside of Howard University, there's 
projects. So if the AKAs and whatever Divine Nine can raise all this money, the projects is right behind Howard University. I I can't speak. They don't to go into the communities. I've never seen it. I don't know anything about whether they're in the communities or not. I know that they're starting to go come under a lot more scrutiny as a result of their support for Kamala Harris just by default of her being a part of it. But that, when, she, when she pulled so, up, so, to, when, when she pulled up to Boulay in Dallas, and did a big speech once they announced that she was going to become the president in the middle of the conference itself, and then all of a sudden she just pulled up and just did a big speech, and Roland Martin was there. That that was a big deal. See the thing is, so so the thing is, she's a plant. That's the first thing. She's a plant. Like, it's always someone who infiltrates the black community, acts like they're one of them, or us, just so just so they can sway us one way, or they can just take some shit down. Like they did the same shit with uh, with the Black Panthers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, infiltrators take down the Black Panthers. It's the same way. It just happened with, with Black Lives Matter. And people aren't going to see the bigger picture with that. But what did that open this up to? What did Black Lives Matter open this up to? It put homosexuality in the forefront. It put it put all that shit in the forefront. And people aren't going to like to hear that, but that's what it was about. Because yeah. it, it, it said it on the website. This was the infiltration. Was, was that, oh man, they're killing black people. They're killing black people. Man, they don't have shit on their website that said anything about black fathers. Mm. They had not one thing that said black fathers. They had transgender men. They had uh, homosexual men. They did not have one thing on it that said black fathers. It's all about infiltration. It's all about still keeping you in the group thing. Oh yeah, stay on code. We like this, we like that. But they really don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. They don't care. It's all about infiltration in this direction, man. It, mm. That's all it is. It's the same play. And and I'm gonna tell you this, even though they might do a lot for each other, that's all that sorority and frat shit is too. Mm. It's infiltration and misdirection. Mm. Because who's who when you think about the divine nine, who was the divine nine started by? It was by Prince uh, uh, uh Prince Prince Hall. What was he doing that for? So he can cater to a higher up group. I'm not going to say their names, but that's all he was doing. I, I he was know. catering to I, a higher I, up group. And and that was also their, their Prince Prince Hall is like a understudy of Yeah, exactly. The others. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, Mika, you know. Yeah, but yeah, and that group was started thousands of years ago. My small house. That no, no, don't nobody want to talk about that. But mm. I, I, I just, I, I've, I've never, I've never seen it. I, I just never seen, you know. I've never seen like the the community efforts. That's all I'm saying. They be at, they, they do stuff, they do stuff for certain communities. It's not necessarily going to be the community in the hood. I can't, I can't speak to that in particular. I don't know anything well, about that. I'm, like, well, I, I don't necessarily I'm from, have I'm from a, I mean, you guys I, do, I but I don't to, have a time I, I've it. never seen any of this. I, I've never seen it. I've never seen it. I've never seen them. I never, I've never seen them in the hood. I know they pay a hell of a lot of dues. I know that much. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. But I've never, sure I've never seen dues, them in yeah. the hood. Now, I have seen them. No, I'm not going to lie. I have seen them do stuff for kids where they would have a certain event at this place and kids come there that shit don't be in the hood though right but here's the here's the thing here's the thing right you can give out turkeys you can do drives you can do all of this stuff but the stuff that actually matters is when you can send your when you you have you have a buddy you can send your kids there they they'll take on you know um, his his understudy and have him you know intern and all of this stuff. It's just like if you're gonna have these organizations, it should create some type of generational wealth because now you your this alum can work for this alum and yada yada yada. Mm. 
I know that I know that the president of some of these organizations are sending out notifications and emails is basically saying that be careful what y'all saying online because we don't automatically want to associate all the type of behavior that y'all got going on to mm. this organization. So it seems like they're just getting a lot more scrutiny, um, more than I've ever seen them get scrutiny for. I haven't seen them get this level of scrutiny in a long time. So I don't know if that hurts them. I'm assuming it probably we won't, but I don't know. I just wanted to get y'all thoughts on that really quickly. Man, the, the just most to switch it up a little get, bit. Yeah, the most scrutiny they ever got was because they was doing that haze and shit, man. And was they that, that shit under the rug. I don't know if that was them, though. No, it's it's just overall, like uh, fraternities, uh, fraternities, and sororities, and fraternities general. over. Yeah, they they was catching heat for hazing, and then they you know they kind of like blew down on the black fraternities only, and, and you know they was you know they was upset about that, and they was like, well, all fraternities is doing this. But, you know, because I, I don't recall, this was so many years ago, I don't recall the exact reason why they was going down on these specific uh, frats. But, yeah, they blew down on them. And that was the most scrutiny I've ever heard, you know, about fraternities. Ever. 